This week on Music Worth Buying, we're going to be hearing music from Rock Candy Funk Party, Groove is King. And Woman by Jill Scott. Welcome to Music Worth Buying, everybody. My name is Robert Kinsler, and I'm a music writer and a musician. And my name is TJR, and I am a musician and a <laughs> music writer. <laughs> that works for me. Okay, cool. Okay. Hey, I'm going to kick things off this mm -hmm. week with a rock candy funk party. Now, things rarely get more funky, more groovy, mm -hmm. more, you know, just more infectious and fun mm -hmm. than this uh, uh, Los Angeles based collective. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people might not know it from the artwork or from the title, but it actually the band actually features Joe Bonamassa, one of the flat-out greatest living mm -hmm. electric guitar players on mm -hmm. the planet. Mm -hmm. And um, but the, but even if he wasn't in the band, they're just terrific. It, mm -hmm. It's just a lot of fun. And you know what? Let's listen to a song off this, and then everybody will, I think, have a a little bit better idea of why I think that these guys are so great. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious. Okay. Okay, you know, uh, first thing that surprised me was that it was instrumental. Uh -huh. uh, I was I was just thinking there'd be vocals. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just because that's all we get these days yeah. is vocals. Yeah, exactly. And so I was surprised it was instrumental. I liked the track a lot. Had you not mentioned, you know, that Joe Bonamassas was part of this group, yeah. never would have even you occurred to me. Yeah, I'd heard exactly. it blind. I was like, oh, I, you know, who's the guitar player? Yeah. Joe Bonamassas, really? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's cool. It, he's he's doing a different thing here rather than his usual blues that he yeah. does, which is his blue stuff is great. But yeah. And, but what about these other players here? Tell yeah. me about them. Well, first of all, let's talk. The, the name of that song or that track was yeah. Groove is King. So we'll talk about that first. And the other players are uh, Tal Bergman, mm -hmm. who plays drums, and I believe he might be the producer of the album. I'm pretty sure he is. Mm -hmm. Joe Bonamassa, who we talked yeah. about, plays the guitar. Rondi Jesus on, on guitar. Mm -hmm. And Mike Merritt on bass. Okay. And then there's a, there's a bunch of horn players and other musicians on mm -hmm. it, too. And uh, if you buy the package is excellent. You'll see pictures of everybody mm -hmm. and get the full lineup. Uh -huh. It is important, I think, to note that the horn uh, arrangements were um, uh, were done by a Grammy winning, winner, tr uh, winning trumpet player, mm -hmm. Randy Brecker. And hopefully I haven't butchered anybody's names here, yeah. although that's very possible. Yeah, no but, um, you know, this album is predominantly instrumental, which is kind of cool. But there's, uh -huh. a, there's a neat vibe. I mean, if you're a fan of Prince, if you're a fan of Daft Punk, um, you know, there's funk in it, there's electronica in it, there's uh, like acid jazz in it, there's, there's a little bit of rock, but it, it's, it's kind of, it's done so seamlessly mm -hmm. how they pull all this stuff together and they just take you and invite you in this little world they mm -hmm. have and you're just swept away in it. It's very cool. And these guys are all from L.A. Yeah, as far as I understand, yeah. they just started jamming at, at uh, someplace in Los Angeles. This is their sophomore album. Uh -huh. The first one, I guess, was a little bit more uh, jazz and this mm -hmm. one, like I said, ups the, the mm -hmm. kind of the electronica and funk and groove mm -hmm. quote and considerably than their first album. Very you know. Good. So good. yeah, no, but, I really like the track. Um, so, yeah, tell us about the Yeah, package, so the yeah. package is just beautiful. It comes with the, the C D, it comes with the bonus D V D on the making out of the album uh -huh. and uh, has this really nice uh, booklet as well. You know, some kind of cool artwork there. And um, you know, all kinds of photographs of the band and you know, you know, just very artistic. And there's, since it's predominantly instrumental, you don't have to worry about uh -huh. lyric sheets. So it's uh -huh. predominantly artwork. And then it does have all the album credits and all that kind of stuff in the back. And very easy to read, you know, font. But it's a very nice booklet, a uh, very nice package. Um, it, it, I don't know if it comes across on the um, on here. But kind of this uh, this little crown there in lipstick, it almost looks like it's three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. You know, it has a really neat... Mm -hmm. Really neat look to it, but it's very nice, and it's done uh, by Joe Bonamassa's uh, label that he oh, has. Okay. So, um, but just a very, uh, it's a very pleasant surprise. You know, everybody knows Joe, Bonam Joe mm -hmm. Bonamassa. He's this amazing yeah. blues guitarist, blues singer. This is very different, but that's not to say you don't hear some shredding on here. You yeah. definitely do. 
it's it's good to hear people like that do something different. And obviously, these are probably some of uh, some of the top LA musicians. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting just by the the quality yeah. of the horns and yeah. just the grooves that these guys are hitting. Just very cool. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. excellent. yeah. Now, what I thought we'd do here is just because I know you're hearing an album like this, and you say, you know, I don't know mm -hmm. know any of this material. They do uh, do one cover on the album, mm -hmm. and uh, they revisit a Peter Gabriel classic, and let's listen to a little bit sure. of that one. Okay, you're not going to tell me which one. Huh? Okay, I think everybody will figure okay. it out when they hear it. Hopefully I will too. Okay. Here we go. And that was, of course, a revisiting of Digging in the Dirt, mm -hmm. a great Peter Gabriel song. And, and I think they do it very much justice mm -hmm. as an instrumental track. Yeah. You know? And I was surprised again that it was an instrumental. I yeah. kept thinking, OK, now this time there'll be some lyrics, yeah. Yeah. there'll be some vocals. So, but very, yeah, very cool. Um, uh, not too radically different, but at the same time, in some ways, extremely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very different. And yeah. and uh, like I said, I, like I said, this is one of those albums that uh, I don't know if this is ever going to be like a hit record or something. It probably won't be. But for those that kind of like mm -hmm. this kind of like various eras of dance music that they've mm -hmm. blended into a really energetic, mm -hmm. energetic contemporary, you know, um, you know, br sonic brew. I mean, uh, this this definitely. You know, fits the bill. It's just great. Yeah, it's you very, know? very interesting. It's good to hear more instrumental music. Yeah, it, being it released. really is. Uh, in, yeah. More instrumental rock, contemporary pop music. Yeah, uh, we don't get enough of that. No, these we days. don't. We yeah, don't. Not like yeah. we used to. Yeah, and exact. And and it sounds like they're just really having a good time. They've mm -hmm. put a lot of creativity and passion into these arrangements. But I think at the end of the day, um, you know, they really work well mm -hmm. in it. And it sounds like a very cohesive kind yeah. of unified troupe that's really. You know, has something that they want to say musically, and yeah. they succeed. These are clearly top flight musicians. Oh that yeah, we're listening to absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah, well, definitely. Cool. Thanks so for bringing. What did you bring in today? Yeah. Okay, well, I've got here the latest album by Jill Scott. It's called Woman, and this is her fifth studio album. Um, we covered uh, her last album, Light of the Sun, on our old channel uh, before we had to lose it. And maybe someday I'll get around to reposting those episodes from the old channel and you know getting them up here on the new channel. But, uh, of course, I've, I've been uh, a fan of Jill Scott for some time now. I've, I've been following her career now and her albums uh, since very early on. And uh, I've been favorable about all of her studio releases, and this album really is no exception. One thing I am thrilled to find out, though, is that uh, she made the number one spot on Billboard with, uh, during, the open, during the opening week this album came out, which it just came, as we're filming this, this album just came out uh, last Friday. And so it's, 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 we're, we're here at the early part of the week here as we're filming this. We'll hopefully see this fairly soon. And um, so uh, it's interesting because we've, uh, a while back you had mentioned, it's kind of feeling like the year of the woman mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because we've, we've covered so many female artists. We've been so impressed with so many releases yeah, by we female really artists. Have. Yeah. Um, or female fronted bands. Right. And uh, so here comes this album called Woman. And we've been kind of saying that it's the year of the woman this year in 2015. I mean, also this year... Um, uh, Alabama Shakes, which is uh -huh. you know female fronted band, you know also uh, took number had a number one, and so did uh, Florence and the Machine. Yeah, they one both of my reached favorite Billboard number one. Yeah, which that, you covered on our that and Blur, episode. my favorite uh, mm -hmm. early albums of 2015. Yeah. Two great albums. Yeah. So so anyways, but this new album here has her uh, returning to collaboration, uh, 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 writing collaboration with writer Andre Harris, with whom she wrote hits like uh, Long Walk Home, and uh, Is It the Way. And um, Jill Scott is co-writer on pretty much every track except for two mm -hmm. on this album. And now, with this album, uh, I've heard a few reviewers say that she's, you know, she's just sticking with her formula. They're being mm -hmm. positive, but they're saying she's sticking with her formula, her tried and true formula. And I beg to differ. Um, uh, yes, there is all the extremely well-written and emotional R&B that I've grown accustomed to with her and kind of just come to expect, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but with this album, I hear her adopting and experimenting with other music genres in ways that I haven't heard in the past. I've maybe heard maybe little touches and flourishes, mm -hmm. but nothing is pronounced. Um, uh, for instance, uh, the track we're going to hear first is a, a track called Run, 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 where she really just fully embraces um, 
retro uh, Chicago era Motown soul. I mean, it really feels like something that could have been done by Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. Mm -hmm. um, other tracks here have her, uh, there's a track called um, You Don't Know that has her embracing straight ahead blues and also embracing her inner Etta James. And um, there's another track here called uh, Say Thank You, which has her going into more darker rock areas and even bordering on music that I might expect from like a David Lynch movie. Mm -hmm. So I think she's on this album really stretching out a bit more with particular tracks. There's still plenty of her signature, just easily likable, easily catchy, you know, R&B soul, but, um, you know, modern R&B soul. But I think this time she's kind of going into more directions, uh, in my opinion, with mm -hmm. this album. Mm -hmm. And so let's go ahead. We're going to check it out because it's such a fun track. It's not typical of the whole album, but I want to play Run, 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 which is that one that I said is just just her really embracing retro Motown soul. Okay. And so here we go. Let's check it out here. I'm superwoman, flying through the city. There's only one way to make it. Baby, go and get it. Overworked, time to pay. Lord knows I need a raise. But when I walk by the guy, say, baby, do you want to go for a ride? We can cruise on. You know, that is fantastic. That, it, that just makes you want to get up and dance. It's kind of like uh, Vintage Trouble, I said. Not that she sounds like uh, mm -hmm. Ty and Vintage Trouble, but it has that kind of, like you said, a retro dance spirit, mm -hmm. soul, mm -hmm. R&B, just, you know, just great, you know, Good. great sound. Glad you like it. Glad you yeah. like it. Now, packaging-wise, uh, this comes in a standard jewel case. Um, the CD, it's, here's the actual CD as it looks inside here, and uh, back cover, just... Uh, track listings here. Uh, the booklet is uh, nicely put together. I wish it ha it had included lyrics. It doesn't. Uh, it does, of course, have all the usual liner notes. One thing that's interesting is, you know, you look at here, here's, of course, this picture on the front, here's this picture in the back, but when you open it up, I do want to show this, um, you get these three pictures here. I'm kind of startled by this one right here, which has her crying and her lipstick is smeared. I'm wondering if this is an image from one, I know she released a couple videos, mm -hmm. and I don't know if this is an image from one of the music videos, it might be. I haven't had a chance to check out any of the videos, so please forgive me if I, for my ignorance on this, but I thought it was shocking to see this here as one of the pictures inside, um, to have something that's this, you know, um, personal mm -hmm. on the inside of it. There's this other picture of here of her looking uh, very emotionally hard, and then there's this picture here where she's looking just very friendly and carefree. And so I thought it's kind of interesting. Maybe she's just trying to show different sides of her personality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and of course, a lot of the songs in here deal with, you know, various topics of love, rejection, loss, heartbreak, you know, all, you know, subjects that we're, of course, we're used to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just great the way that she always comes up with, you know, uh, that she and the other songwriters always come up with just these extremely, um, just really catchy, you know, uh, uh, melodies and, and mm -hmm. grooves. Mm -hmm. And um, there is, uh, I was reading an interview with her while she, while she was promoting this album just the other day, where she kind of talks about a little bit about how she feels like a lot, and she feels like a lot of people in contemporary B are putting out what she calls microwavable tracks. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, they're fine for now, but she doesn't feel they're having any real staying power. Mm -hmm. And and I, I have to hate to say, I do kind of agree with her. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, though, um, yeah, but this is just, uh, said, just a really good album. I'm going to play, now that last song I said was kind of atypical. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play another track here that's called Closure, um, which I also, I picked uh, just because it's such a humorously funny song. Okay. And so here we go. I think it's time that we move forward. I've heard like a kid turn on you, Rod. This is the last time I hope you enjoyed. Now would you mind leaving now? You know, probably nobody ever sounded so good telling somebody to take a hike. I mean, she's <laughs> she's telling it like it is there. That is great. That is great. And just her delivery, it's so authentic and so yeah. uncalculated. And it just say it's just. I mean, it's well worn territory. Yeah. 
I mean, the whole thing about yeah. love gone bad or relationships gone yeah. bad. But, it, yeah, she just has so much spice in there and just so much vocal firepower. It's just great. And it's yeah. funny. I it's mean, funny. I'm a yeah. guy. Yeah. She's, she's, you know, she's taking it out on a guy, and yeah. I, but I'm still laughing yeah. at it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because it's just so damn funny. It is funny, yeah. 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 Like and some of those lyrics are just, I know we can only play a little bit here, but people yeah. should definitely hear this song. It's Gotta hear a, the whole song. It's, it's just entirety. a kick, yeah. 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 Definitely cool. good. Oh, yeah. But anyhow, though, so... Um, uh, we want to thank you very much for watching the show. Robert, I thank you for bringing in uh, your album. And Thanks for bringing in Jill Scott. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. I hope that everybody will, uh, you know, if you haven't uh, checked out these artists yet, uh, you'll take a little time to uh, check okay. them out, you know. Uh, listen to them on, on, on legal streaming services like Apple Music or Spotify. Buy their albums and show your support. And um, until next time, my name's TJR. You can check out my music at tjrmusic.com. Drop me an email and I will uh, send you a, a link for some free MP3 downloads. And of course, you can check out my solo reviews here at the channel. And yeah, my name is Robert Kinsler, and you can read more of my work at, of course, here right here at musicworthbind.com and at ocregister.com and musicnewsnashville.com. Cool. And so thank you so much uh, for subscribing to the show. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. See you later, everybody. Right, take care. Bye.